Hi guys, so it is currently 6.51 and we're leaving the house right now to go to the hospital because today is the day, March 25th, that I start phase two of my treatments for my illness. Basically, um, the hospital is t 10 minutes drive away but we're gonna stop at Starbucks because I have money left on my gift card and I really want to eat it. We're gonna get some iced coffee because I'm extremely tired. You might not be able to tell, but um, there's mama. No. We're gonna be there all day and I'm gonna like briefly tell you kind of what phase two is because a lot of people were asking and I kind of, did I put, no, I texted some people and I told some people in person. Phase two is um, eight weeks long. Technically it's nine weeks because there's a, that's four weeks of treatment and then one week off and then the last four weeks, that's phase two. What's it called again? Phase Consolidation or is what it's called. Or intensification. Intensification. I don't know. If you Either are familiar one. with these terms, you'll probably know what that is, but um, that's basically what phase two of treatment is. This first four weeks of, is the first half, I call it, of, um, phase two and basically it is every Monday during phase one my chemo treatments were on Wednesdays but now they're on Mondays which is so much better I feel like it's more organized and it, it just makes more sense to me the first four weeks every Monday I get a spinal tap and that's how the chemo is entered into my body and to make sure that the leukemia cells do not grow back if you saw my last post um, my update on Instagram or if you heard my blood test from phase one came back with zero percent leukemia cells detected in my bone marrow which is awesome so God is good so spinal taps every Monday and that's how the chemo is going to get into my cerebral spinal fluid and I'm gonna get really bad headaches I am prone to fevers for the next four weeks my immune system is gonna drop two weeks from today so I won't be able to see anyone I, I'm, I'm not gonna be yeah I can't get sick but so I'm gonna be quarantined probably in my room which is fine to be honest um, honestly I feel like it'll be okay <laughs> yeah, and then there's um, chemo that you can actually do at home so we're gonna do that so I have five chemo drugs that I'm taking for phase two during phase one the first five weeks I took three chemo drugs um, and during phase two I'm taking five so there's basically I don't know how many drugs they're gonna put in my cerebral spinal fluid I'm guessing we'll figure that out today or we were already told I don't know but um, so it's gonna be a different, different. it's gonna be second different for the second four weeks but part one of phase two is gonna be four weeks of that well, probably some hospital visits um, lots of fevers probably um, and that is basically a basic layout so yeah as far as the face swelling it has gone down a lot more I'm looking more recognizable now but it still needs to go down right here and um, probably a little bit um, over here as well I will update you guys um, probably more montages cued montage <laughs> finally go on camera with a less puffy face and feel confident talking to the camera because I miss this. No one's here yet and I don't want to show too much of the actual like thingy because I don't know what's um, appropriate to show. Ah, I'm in that vlog life now. Are you guys excited? Oh, this if you were wondering. A lot of people. Can you um hold it? It looks like this. You guys can see it like that. Yeah, there's not too much left but there's a good amount of hair left still but it's extremely thin, which is okay. It'll grow back. Wait, okay, wait, say them again. Cyclophosphamine, cytorabine, mercaptopurine, in intrathecal methox, meth methotrexate? Methotrexate. How did I know so that? Vincristine, pegaspargase. Hey guys, so we're um, in the, um, the clinic right now. We just went through the doors and went back and yeah, so, um, sorry for this angle. I don't want to, like, film too much. Um, we're just waiting to start stuff. I have to get my blood drawn for, like, blood tests. Um, and they're probably gonna, like, hook me up to the IV before they do my spinal tap. I don't know. But they're gonna, like, numb my 
lower back where they're gonna do the spinal tap happen i might have to be put on ativan which is like this um drug that like keeps me calm but like makes me really tired and like kind of loopy it's kind of like anesthesia um but it's not and i'm not like put under or anything um they try not to put you under during spinal taps um so the reason i was saying about the ativan was that um, i might be able to film or i'll have my mom film some stuff but i have no idea and i apologize in advance for my um my appearance it probably won't look too hot but it's fine also i can't wear my retainers because they have bacteria in them and i can't get sick so my teeth are crooked and the medications are making them look really wet and bad so that's awesome too so peace out Hello. Um, I just had my crying session um, after my spinal tap. I had my spinal tap and it hurt. So, there's that. Um, they numbed my back and then just like a bunch of things I can't remember. I was put on Ativan, which is the anesthesia stuff. So, I'm still tired from that. I'm gonna try and sleep. I should finish up here at like 1.30 or 2 and then be able to go home. I just wanted to update you guys on that so that you knew what was happening. I will update you guys next when something else happens. <laughs> forgot one of my medications at the pharmacy so she's like in line right now and that's what she's doing hey guys so we're leaving the hospital right now um i fell asleep because they gave me ativan to relax me and like put me into like this like a sleepy state yeah to um so that i didn't um respond like really like ah freak out about the um, spinal tap um, but the reason that they like don't like to put you under completely and um, if you're like 18 is because it's usually like eight-year-olds and people around like children around that age who can't do it and can't stay still so they either put them under or they give them really like a pretty good amount of those sleepy medications I call them since I'm 18 it makes more sense I did still feel it though. I did feel it. It, w it was like a burning sensation, both of them, and it was super painful. I was on the Ativan, so I was already like super like emotionally vulnerable, so I just was crying the whole time. So I tap went good. They took like blood samples again. Um, they do that every time I come in before chemo. Counts are still low, but they are well enough or high enough to continue with chemo. So they came back really good. So now we're on our way home. So. Yeah, but I, I took a, like an hour, hour and a half nap because the Ativan makes me really tired and it took a while, but I just fell asleep in the clinic. Day one of chemo went really well. Now I'm going to go home and rest. Hi guys, so it is now like 6.38, almost 6.40, and I am back home from the hospital. I got back home around like 2.30. I was super tired and I ate like half a sandwich and then I slept for I don't even know how long probably not like a full hour probably just like under an hour but now I'm just dealing with a little bit of back pain from the spinal tap but not too bad it's manageable but yeah I just wanted to quickly say thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah if you have any questions or video suggestions leave them down below bye <music>